to summarize, we covered everything what is here. Just to end this, I will not cover this now because it's very complex, but here we have this IPD audio and this is playing this nice HTML element here that we can play an audio file that we loaded. Actually, it's this audio data that we loaded from this audio file. Just let's take a look of IOPD audio. I explained this IPython display module. So let's look for the help. It creates an audio object. When this object is returned by an input cell or passed to the display function, it will result in audio controls being displayed in the front end. It only works in Jupyter notebooks. So you cannot use this in a terminal because the terminal cannot execute. And so what it it is actually doing is to return this HTML code that will be so here we have this audio controls so this is an HTML code and we put some things inside here so that this audio HTML element will uh, play back our audio file so if we do this test here let's go back to our code example let's call it our audio html so we are now storing this into an element so it's not displaying anything because we're storing the value here now we have this audio html but now we see here when we do this so it audio controls and then controls and the source there's the data audio of and then there's all this crazy code here so this is somehow converting this audio data that was array of numbers to this stream here and this type of audio of so it's telling this um, audio control what data is to play and this is just as an we will go more detail, this is more advanced stuff, but just so you know what this is doing. And we can have this nice um, HTML element here. Well, I think that's the end. We've covered all the code. Don't worry, we will have to come back multiple times because we are going to see things as they appear. So there are much more to see about strings, about built-in types. Well, another thing that I didn't mention, but uh, I will, will go into more details uh, in the next tutorial, but we have here, this was an integer. But what type is this audio data? Because here we have an array. So we can go here. Just type audio data and audio data is a numpy.nd array so it is another type it's not built in python because it exists a package called numpy and in this numpy they define this data structure that it's a nd array but we will leave this for the next code example in the next tutorials. Thank you very much for your attention. If you like this video, give it a like, share with your friends, consider subscribing to this channel, and I see you next time.